Hi everyone, A Hicken here again. Um, it's been um, 24 hours, or probably say two days, since my P Metallica malted. Because as you know, it malted when I wasn't here, so I'm not too sure if it was yesterday or the day before. So I just thought I'd um, give you a little update, guys, on the P Metallica that malted. Uh, I'm just going to take the um, the lid off and get it to come out a little bit, so you can see uh, P Metallic in all its glory. Uh, just get my little my little trusty stick that I always keep. It comes in handy sometimes. So I'm just going to give it a little nudge for it to come out. Not to oh, and it decides to uh, run off <laughs> as they usually do. But um, I'm happy it can't really it can't get too far anyway because it's. Uh, So, the only furthest it'll go is probably just off the uh, ledge here. But I will, uh, I'll get me the, a little tub just to catch uh, him and or him and her in there. So what I'll do is, guys, in this situation here that I've put myself in, I usually get a little tub like this, and then if it tries to run off, I'll catch it in there and put it back into its. Um, into its enclosure, but yeah, guys, just a uh, quick update on my P Metallica that's malted, looking absolutely beautiful. Um, while it's in its um, pokey pose, as they call it, I'll give it a quick, um, quick measure, and I'd probably say it's looking, yeah, I'll say looking round about the. The three inch mark, which is not too bad. Didn't realise that pokies do grow, um, a, you know, a very big size in different malts. And then she's having a little run round. And there she is, look. But um, yeah, she should be all right. I'll just scoop her up in a um, in that little tub there that I've just shown you guys, and uh, see what happens. So what I'll do is now I'll just move. My roaches. And she's stretching out. Because as you know, guys, it hasn't been uh, that long since she malted. So, I don't really want her to uh, get out anywhere. So, what I'll do is I'll just uh, coax her into this little tub here. And there we go. And she's all done. And that's how you catch the arboreal species. But she's looking absolutely beautiful. All the colours are starting to um, come through now. Wasn't expecting her to run out <laughs> like they do. But I'll, um, I'll put her back in her enclosure now for you guys. Don't really want her to... Uh, Keep getting out all the time, and there's a, a little enclosure here. I'll just lift the uh, camera up for you, everyone, so you can just see. So, I'm just gonna take the lid off and just coax her back into her uh, enclosure. She's looking absolutely beautiful, and she started to go on my arm, which I didn't really want her to do. But in this situation, these things happen, I suppose. And there we go. She's back. <coughs> this is where my trusty little stick comes back into play. My little stick always comes in handy. And there we go. All done. Back earner in enclosure. So that was a nice little uh, run around for her. So, gave me a bit of a scare, but um, I got her okay, and she had a little crawl on my arm, which was nice. Okay, everyone, thanks for watching. 